The Civil and Local Government Staff Association of Ghana embarked on a strike on Thursday, 20th January 2022, leaving Ghanaians who were seeking their services at the various ministries and departments stranded. The association had complained that the conditions of service of its members were being overlooked despite several reminders to the government. A visit to the Registrar General's department on Monday showed that work had begun in earnest. The PRO, Nicholas Obinchum, said they were working hard to clear up the backlog. The strike affected us um, and it created inconvenience for our clients, as you know already, because most didn't expect it to happen. And, you know, most of this registration has to meet timelines. Some are using for contract purposes and other, other businesses which have timelines. So in one or two ways, it affected a, a lot of clients. but. What can we do? As part of a civil service, we have to also adhere to the directive as a civil service. And uh, if our leadership says we should go on strike, we just went on strike as usual. But thank God the strike has ended and we have resumed. And as you can see, the whole place is very busy and our staff are supposed working diligently to get things done. And we are probably moving for the country forward. Speaking to City News after the resumption of work by its members, National Executive Secretary of Clocksag, Isaac Bampo Addo, stated that if government failed to hold up their end of the memorandum of understanding, they would go on strike again. Like we said in our statement, we've come to an agreement with government. So we place this agreement before our council, now the National Executive Council of Clocksag. And they reviewed the agreement and a decision was taken to call off the strike. Well, we have triggers, we have deadlines in the memorandum of understanding. And the first one is that by 31st August was our main issue was our salary structure. By 31st August 2022, we should have finalized the salary structure for its implementation from 1st January 2023. And let's sound a note of caution. If by 31st August, the salary structure has not been finalized, we'll go back and sleep in the house. A visit to some of these departments and ministries shows that work has begun in earnest. Clocksack, however, has said that if government does not hold up their end of the memorandum of understanding, they will strike again in August 2022. For City News, my name is Eno Safo.